hi everyone in this video you are going to learn about what are the different types of scaling models and scaling factors so what do you mean by scaling when a mass transistor is designed according to Moore's law for every two years the number of transistors are getting doubled in a single singlicon area suppose if you are taking this small area in this small area in one particular year you are able to build one thousand number of transistors in the next consecutive two years you are going to build in the same area two thousand number of transistors after two more consecutive years you are going to build four thousand number of transistors so you are using the same area chip but you are increasing the number of transistors means you are reducing the size of the transistor you are reducing the size of the transistor this is what do you mean by scaling so scaling is nothing but reducing the parameters of the transistor so that the number of transistors we can increase while you are fabricating the integrated circuits okay so reducing the transistor parameters are nothing but it may be width length thickness or area whatever may be the parameter that is associated with respect to the transistor that is going to be scaled down suppose see this this is the um, transistor in three dimensional view where all the parameters are noted down here width this is w normally w refers to the width of the channel l refers to the length of the channel and t is the thickness of this oxide uh, t is the thickness of this uh, polysilicon and d d is the thickness of the oxide now these are normally we have considered in the normal diagram we have considered all these parameters are alone but now in the scaling we are scaling these factors with the different parameters like alpha and beta okay i will tell you what is alpha and beta so see here w by alpha that means now previously it was w but now it is w by alpha where the w width of this channel has been reduced by an amount of alpha and similarly length is also scaled down by alpha and this polysilicon thickness is also scaled down by alpha and whereas the thickness of the oxide is scaled down by a parameter beta and the depth of depletion uh, the depth of the diffusion region see here actually we uh, the n plus diffusion here and this n plus diffusion are created by passing a gas impurity gas on to this substrate so how long that penetration should be done okay that is given by the parameter x so that is also scaled down by alpha okay if this is the concentration of holes onto this p type substrate so that is indicated by n b okay so all these parameters are we are going all these parameters we are going to scale down so that the transistor size is going to be miniaturized okay that means we can increase the number of transistors in the same area while you are going to fabricate see the scaling can be done with two different parameters very very important before going into the scaling we should know what are the two parameters that we are using to scale down so scaling can be done using two parameters two factors they are alpha and beta alpha and beta beta is the scaling factor per thickness of the oxide thickness of the oxide like d capital d thickness of the oxide is nothing but capital d and for voltages beta is the scaling factor for thickness of the oxide and voltages voltages are nothing but all biasing supplies vdd what generally we are using vdd so that is the voltage and all other remaining parameters we are using the scaling factor alpha for all other for all other parameters okay. 
okay this is what the meaning of alpha and beta what is the reason why we are choosing alpha for all other parameters and beta for only thickness of the oxide and voltage because beta is having lesser value compared to alpha alpha is more scaling factor compared to beta so if, if there is a limitation for this voltage and the thickness of the oxide we should not go beyond a specific limit alpha is related to a higher value where all other parameters like length width area and all other parameters are scaled down by a factor by a factor alpha of course later we will be having limitation on specific parameters once it is going to be scaled down okay that we will see in the next coming video now let us see what are the different scaling uh, factors for device parameters scaling factors for device parameters so let us see different different parameters one by one and how to scale down first one is gate area gate area indicated by ag gate area indicated by ag generally area we know how area is calculated area ag is equal to length into width area is equal to length into width length is scaled down by length is scaled down by 1 by alpha see here alpha is for all other parameters and beta is for thickness and voltage here length and width are not related to thickness and not related to voltage that's why they their scaling factors like 1 by alpha and similarly width is also scaled down by again 1 by alpha so if you substitute L by alpha and W by alpha in this L into W by 1 by alpha square will come I will explain here see now a new AG how it is changing L by alpha into W by alpha so L now becomes L by alpha and W now becomes W by alpha so L is scaled down by alpha and beta is scaled down by alpha so we can write it as L by W 1 by alpha square that means previously it was L by W but now it is scaled down by alpha square so we can write it as therefore gate area AG is scaled down by 1 by alpha square scaled by 1 by alpha square hope you understand how to calculate the scaling factor for a particular parameter let us see the second one <coughs> gate capacitance gate capacitance per unit area gate capacitance per unit area that is C naught gate capacitance per unit area that is C naught see all these parameters we have seen individually when we were discussing various parameters and uh, derivations now we are going to take them individually here for the scaling factors see what do you mean by C naught C naught is nothing but gate capacitance per unit area gate capacitance per unit area how we are expressing the capacitance capacitance is equal to epsilon a by d capacitance is equal to epsilon a by d but now what do we have written gate capacitance per unit area so in that epsilon a by d a will be not there okay so epsilon a by d so this epsilon belongs to the oxide epsilon belongs to the oxide because that is the insulator we have relative parameter and that relate to epsilon is belonging to the oxide layer 
Now, epsilon oxide is not having any scaling factor, no scaling because that is constant forever. And coming to the thickness of the oxide D, D is scaled by, D is scaled by, I already told you, D is scaled by, what is the scaling factor? 1 by beta. D is scaled by 1 by beta. Now substitute that, how the C0 now can, it can be scaled down. So C0 is equal to epsilon ox by D is scaled by beta. So it will be having the original factor like this and multiplied by a factor beta. So what is the scaling factor now? Therefore, scaling factor for gate capacitance per unit area C0 is beta, is beta. Coming to the third one, gate capacitance, gate capacitance CG gate capacitance CG see how the gate capacitance CG can be written we know previously we just now we have calculated gate capacitance per unit area gate capacitance per unit area C0 by WL this is what is equal to gate capacitance Per unit area CG. CG by WL is equal to C0. See the definition of C0. C0 is nothing but gate capacitance per unit area. Now simply we can write it as CG is equal to C0 into W into L. Hope you understand how we have written this one according to its name. So gate capacitance per unit area is equal to the C0. So CG is equal to C0 into W into L. Now we know the scaling factor for C0 C0 is scaled by, just now we have calculated how much it is beta and W and L. W, nothing but width of the channel is scaled by, is scaled by 1 by alpha and again L is scaled by 1 by alpha. So, if you multiply these two and substitute in this uh, CG, now CG can be scaled by here C0 is beta, W and L becomes 1 by alpha square, so beta by alpha square. Therefore, CG is scaled by beta by alpha square. CG is scaled by beta by alpha square. Now, let us see one more parameter that is parasitic capacitance. Parasitic capacitance CX. Parasitic capacitance CX. What do you mean by parasitic capacitance? There are generally two types of components that are existed in any MOS transistors. Those are parasitic resistance and parasitic capacitance. They generally called as PEX. They generally call as PEX. PEX is nothing but parasitic extraction. PEX. After designing the MOS circuitry on any tool like Mentor Graphics or CADAS tools, we are going to calculate R plus C value of that interconnections and everything. R plus C value. This R plus C value calculation is known as PEX, parasitic extraction. Nothing but what is the internal capacitance and resistance existed from input to the output at number of interconnections in the circuit. This is what the parasitic extraction. So, intentionally we are not creating this resistance and capacitance, but wiring causes this existence. So, such type of capacitance is nothing but parasitic capacitance and resistance is parasitic resistance. In general, it is parasitic extraction. Nothing but getting the results of existence of resistance and capacitance. Now, parasitic capacitance Cx, it is expressed as Cx is equal to Ax by D. Cx is equal to Ax by D. We can say not more 
commonly it is equal to it is proportional to we can say it is proportional to some other parameters might be added like epsilon so cx is the parasitic capacitance cx is proportional to ax ax nothing but whatever the material we are taking that is having the area divided by d divided by d that is used to create the capacitance that forms the capacitance d distance okay so now area what do you mean by ax where a is ax area is ax this is area okay we know area is scaled down by area scaled by area is nothing but length into width so it is scaled by 1 by alpha square okay see wherever you are having the parameter area directly you can substitute 1 by alpha square because area is equal to length into width length and width are individually scaled by 1 by alpha so area simply scaled by 1 by alpha square and d d is nothing but distance not thickness understand the difference d is nothing but distance between the plates suppose distance between the two different layers this is what the distance I told you capital D in the beginning of this video, I told you capital D is scaled by beta that D refers to thickness of the oxide that capital D refers to thickness of the oxide but it is a D which is a separation distance so it is not scaled by beta it is scaled by scaled by 1 by alpha alpha is the parameter that needs to be given to this D because it is not a thickness it is separation now if you substitute here 1 by alpha square by 1 by alpha now what is the scaling factor of cx therefore cx is scaled by cx is scaled by 1 by alpha 1 by alpha square by 1 by alpha now it becomes 1 by alpha okay so these are the four different uh, scaling factors we have seen in the next video i will continue the remaining scaling factors thank you